first generation women achievers of the bluegrass provides help and services to women who are first in their families to graduate college here in Kentucky. And joining me this morning to explain more, Susan and Christy Heron. Thank you for joining us today. Thank, Thank you. you so much for Thank having so us. Much. We appreciate it very much. First of all, just talk to me about how this, uh, this organization uh, came about and why you started it. We started it in 2017. It was actually an offshoot of Chrissy's graduate studies when she was getting her master's at UK and she was in community leadership development. I've been a high school English teacher and had experience working with parents trying to afford college. Chrissy's graduate studies had to do with first generation students at UK, specifically women. And Chrissy and I both worked some at the Student Support Center and got to work with a wonderful lady who's a board member of ours, Cassandra Johnson, helping young people who are the first in their families to graduate from college kind of navigate the whole college experience. Obviously, finances is a huge uh, concern, not only for the student, but for the parents as well. Chrissy, talk to me about some of the mm -hmm. obstacles that uh, that, mm -hmm. that first generation uh, college students face. It's really a, it's a hard time for them because they have to work, you know, part time or full time. They don't really have the support of parents who are, let's say, like for me, I'm a third generation, you know, college graduate, having support from parents to say, hey, I need extra money for, you know, um, food here, books there, and so they really faced trouble when it comes to paying for their books paying for the tuition. Obviously, tuition has now increased everywhere across the state and the country when it comes to going to college. And so they really face the troubles of just trying to navigate not only college, but also life. You know, it comes to paying bills, when it comes to a lot of them are non-traditional students, so they have families to support and feed. So it was our mission to really help women who are kind of, let's say, maybe third, fourth, fifth in place right now, but they are smart they're capable and they want to get college education and they want to better their not only their lives but their families lives. And how is your organization able to help? Uh, really through grants and through private donors we have been able to establish an endowment. We have two separate funds, one for scholarship only and then one for our events uh, sponsors as well. We chose to focus on our three local universities because we wanted to give back to the Lexington community and for a personal reason. Chrissy's undergrad and graduate degrees are from UK. I'm a Transylvania graduate with, uh, with a master's from UK. So we have a personal investment in our three local universities as well. And you have a scholarship uh, reception scheduled for tomorrow. For tomorrow. Yes. And we will be awarding a scholarship to a first generation female student from each of the three schools. And uh, as of tomorrow, we will have awarded 11 scholarships. Yeah. Uh, the former First Lady of UK, Patsy Todd, is our keynote speaker. We have been fortunate to have exceptional keynote speakers. Our first one in 2019 was Dr. Judy Jackson. She was a vice president at UK. Last year, via Zoom, we had Dr. Augusta Julian, former president of the BCTC, uh, all first generation female college graduates. Well, certainly making a difference. Thank you guys for what you do, and thanks for being here today. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much for having us. We, we appreciate, appreciate it. it so much.